Welcome back to the channel people, we have yet another Solar Titan build that I recently slapped together and it's also on the fun side of things, weapon driven and insanely strong for ad clearing, champion countering and a very healthy heavy ammo economy thanks to exotic primary kills and artifact perks. I've not tested this in a GM as the current rotation does not suit the playstyle but easier ones such as Devil's Lair or Scarlet Keep should allow this one to shine. We will break the whole thing down, but first, drop a like if you do find this video informative at any stage, and drop a comment with your thoughts. Let's begin, starting with the exotic armor. Half of the burning steps, the Titan Leg Exotics recently received a buff, giving it the Bow Tracer Hunter treatment. Getting solar weapon kills has an increasing chance to gain solar weapon damage buffs that stack all the way to times 4. Every 2-3 to three rapid kills grants a stack, and once at max stacks, solar weapons receive a 25% damage buff, and subsequent solar weapon kills within 10 seconds refreshes the timer. Please note, this does not stack with activities that grant weapons overcharge, such as elemental surges or artifact weapon overcharge, as a 25% benefit provided to solar weapons is automatically added to these. Instead, Path of Burning Steps buff. However, Radiant effects do stack with the 25% buff, Outside of these activities, such as regular dungeons or raids, this exotic gives a massive boost to weapon damage. Now, originally I was going to pair this with Vex Mythoclast, but when I got my hands on Sunshot, I could not drop it. It's nasty now with the buffs to hand cannons in PvE, doing a ton of damage, especially when inheriting either the overload hand cannon artifact buff or the exotic boots benefits. It's an insane ad clearer, even in harder difficulties, capable of taking out grouped up adds with the explosions it causes, getting that exotic boot perk to proc faster, and can do considerable damage to yellow bar combatants too. Exotic primary weapons have much better chances of spawning heavy ammo also, allowing you to use rockets when solo playing as well as generating heavy ammo for your allies when using heavy ammo scout mods. For endgame activities, it can stun all three champions. Overload hand cannon is obviously covered, although can be a little bit finicky at times, but with this setup, you can down an overload with two rockets very quickly if radiant and stunned. For unstoppables, I slotted a kinetic slot fusion, Riptide. With the right roll, it's very strong, with my rolling Vorpal weapon for a 15% damage buff on champions and bosses, and also lead from gold for bonus special when picking up heavy. And of course, having unstoppable fusion on the artifact enabled grants the weapon a 25% damage buff in endgame activities and allows to stun unstoppable champions. Finally, for barriers, a goofy setup that does involve some risk. Destiny is meant to be fun after all, and for me, this epitomizes it. Radiant Rocket Launchers. Wait for it. Ember of Torches will grant your Titan Radiant when using a melee ability, in this case, Consecration. Apex Predator's God Roll, after dealing damage with both the Fusion and the Sunshot, and firing a rocket where the shield of a barrier pops up, stuns them, and the follow-up rocket gains the 35% damage buff of Bait and Switch, which stacks with Radiant and the damage increase of Surges, or Path of Burning Steps deleting barriers even in master difficulty. This build is capable of generating plenty of heavy ammo, so you should always see heavy on the battlefield. Still with me? Great! Slap that like button for the algorithm, and if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. If you want a complete breakdown of this build, a dim link will be available in the description. I also wanted to take my time to give a shout out to Mr. Slayer God 10 a fellow content creator who does infographics of some of the best D2 build videos on YouTube, which nicely complements build videos. I'll also link their Discord server in the description. Moving on to the Titan Hammer setup, the super and melee abilities are irrelevant. Whilst the hammers are good for melee builds, if you miss your hammer, the whole build gets ruined as you will not become radiant. By far, Consecration, paired with Sol Invictus aspects, gives this setup a nice mix of consistent melee energy and survivability. Sol Invictus and Healing Grenades provide restoration on ability kills or simply healing from grenades, and Consecration guarantees kills. As this build is more weapon driven than ability driven, it's pointless running Roaring Flames, instead go for survivability. We obviously need Ember of Torches when using Consecration to become Radiant, and then slot Solace and Empyrean. This will grant longer durations to both Radiant and Restoration, keeping your buffs from running out, and subsequent solar weapon or ability kills extend the duration of both. Once you get Radiant and Restoration proc'd, you become unstoppable, getting massive damage buffs with Sunshot and Apex Predator, and capable of downing champions instantly. For your stats, Resilience is priority, and the rest of your focus can go towards Strength, which affects melee energy. Then for mods, your orb generators will be Solar Siphon and Heavy Handed. For the chest, you can replace a Solar Resist mod with Solar Reserves. Why? 
When using the artifact perk, Elemental Embrace, which grants solar resist when radiant, you won't need that solar resist mod, allowing you to slot a reserve mod for your rocket launcher. You will also want Solar Scavenger on your boots for increased heavy ammo pickup, which can vary between 2-3 to three rockets as opposed to 1, and finally, recuperation for health gains on all pickup. These are just the important mods, for more, check the dim link in the description. Finally, artifact mods provide yet another massive benefit to heavy pickups. We already covered weapons, so we jump to solar orbs in the third column. Sunshot multi-kills can spawn solar orbs, including the explosions it produces. Refreshing pickups will grant ability energy when picking these up, and getting kills with these has a chance to generate heavy ammo. The rest of the perks aren't essential, but having these slotted will make a big difference to your gameplay. This build is fun! No, it won't get you highest GM clears, but for everything else, it is very satisfying and can help with Master Lost Sector, Solo Flawless clears, and Dungeon Runs. Give it a try and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. That's it for this video. Drop a like and sub if you are new to the channel. Next up, we have a new GL dropping as part of Festival of Lost. I'll be reviewing this and dropping a video this Friday. After that, more build videos and Briar's Love review, plus Crota weapon reviews. Stay tuned! This was Plasma Alchemist, your viewership is much appreciated. Until next time, see you later.